All praise. The officer spoke well in the spirit. So my brother right here, you understand Thanksgiving? Oh, I know. Thanksgiving is some paganist shit. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. So, so we ain't giving thanks to what? Right. What we giving thanks for? Nothing. Bring it out. Exactly. Give me so, uh, so also, chapter so, 7 and verse so, 7. So all this Thanksgiving and all these paganist holiday, that ain't for us. But it ain't going to benefit us. Right. What we got to do, we got to wake the fuck up. And knowing that all these pagan holiday, it's the other man holiday. Exactly. It's not our holiday, it's the other man holiday. Until you, so we wake the fuck up, we'll know that, brother. Exactly, man. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Read that. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Listen good, brother. Listen good. Because my brother was saying that what? These holidays don't benefit us. Right. What do we got to give thanks for? You understand? Read that. Surely. Oppression. Surely what? Oppression. It says surely oppression. That's what our people has been experiencing since we got to this side of the land. It says surely oppression. Read. Making the wise men mad. Making a what? A wise man mad. It says surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. That's why this brother is speaking with such conviction because what? All the oppression that we have been going through. We understand that what? Thanksgiving is oppression. Yeah. You understand? They're oppressing us with these holidays, what some people call holidays. You understand? Jeez, that makes us a wise man mad. Why? Because what? Thanksgiving is not our custom. Right. Thanksgiving is not the custom of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We got our own holidays, which are holy days according to the Bible. Yeah. All right, so finish that. Finish that. Surely oppression. They get the wise men mad. Uh huh. And a gift. And they what? Gift. Uh huh. Destroy the heart. It say, and they give destroy of the heart. The heart is the mind. You understand? A gift, which is their holidays, it destroys the mind of the blacks and Hispanics in America today. Right. You understand? Because what? It's so much killing going on in America. Right. So much pestilence, which is diseases, is going on around the world. Right. But when these traditions or these customs, these holidays come around, it rocked the black man right back to sleep. Right. It rocked the Hispanic man right back to sleep. Right. When Christmas come around, it rocked the black man right back to sleep. Right. It's say a gift destroyeth the heart. Right. You understand? That's why what? You gotta wake up. You gotta be renewed in your mind. Like the brother was saying. And I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all another thing. Uh -huh. When I go to when I go to people's house, this the type of shit they got worship. This the speech shit. Right. And I tell them, say no, they ain't Jesus. They ain't God. Ain't nobody. Nobody tell me. I'm the dumb. I'm, I'm the dumb because I tell y'all, y'all talking to the dumb. I'm gonna show you that's in the Bible. I'm gonna show you that's in the Bible, bro. Yeah, give, me, so, give me Amos five and two. So I, I'm, 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 like, yeah, I'm like this. That's that's the devil right there. Don't call me a devil because I tell y'all. Listen to the devil. Hey, I hey, yo, shit, all man. praise to the most high. What's your name, brother? Tyrone. Tyrone? Oh, man, nice to bro. meet you. I'm brother Jalil. I'm brother Jalil. I'm so that's what we are. Nah, you good, brother. You good. We understand, bro. The scripture says, oppressive make of a wise man mad. All right, give me that. Read Amos hey. 5 and 10 right quick. Amos chapter 5 verse 10. Uh-huh. They hate him. They what? They hate him. They love him. They hate him. So the Bible said that what? They hate them. Meaning people is going to hate them. Read. That rebuke it at the gate. That rebuke it in the gate. Rebuke means to correct. So the people today, they hate the people that's doing the correction. When you showing them what? That Christ is not white. He's a black man according to the Bible. Our people that's not spiritual, they hate that thing. You understand? Give me uh, Ephesians 4. The 16, Galatians 4, 16, you know that one. You understand? They hate that thing, but guess what? They hated Christ. You understand? Christ was teaching the same thing. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Christ wasn't love, and Christ said we're going to be hated because what? We follow him. But that's all good. That's all good. Read that. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Uh-huh. Am I therefore become your enemy? So because we're doing the correction, we're correcting our people to show them that what? Listen, bro, Thanksgiving is not what we're supposed to be keeping. The Bible said that what? Therefore do I become your enemy? Because what? People start to hate you when you correct them. You understand? Our people just want to live in lies, but that time 
Gotta stop. You understand? Finish that. Because I tell you the truth. Because I what? Because I tell you the truth. Because I tell you the truth. The truth is, we gotta come out of these lies. Right. You understand? We gotta come out of Thanksgiving, right. Christmas, New Year's. New Year's coming up. Right. That's another one that's gonna rock our people back to sleep. Right. Halloween just passed. You got grown men dressing up as, as costumes. Right. Meanwhile, police brutality going on. The prison systems is growing. Absolutely. You understand? Yeah. People are dying from the pestilence, they try to stick you in your arm or something. All these atrocities going on, and we dressing up as co costumes. Can I ask you something? What's going on, bro? Now, now, they prophesied this in the Bible. I don't know what, 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 which one that says that the last day is going to be a, a, a virus. A virus, if I'm not mistaken, a, a parent, a parent. Pestilence. Yeah. And guess what it is? The COVID-19. Right in the spirit. Yeah. There it is, they brother told spirit. They told y'all it was coming. COVID-19, brother. Hey, my brother, but knowing that, what should we do? Because that is a prophecy according to the Bible. Christ warned us the yep. black Messiah yep. said what? It's going to be pestilence. It's going to be famines. You understand? When that COVID first hit, right? When that, plate, that pestilence first hit, right? When you went to Walmart, was it food on the shelves? Yeah. Um, you couldn't get groceries, no. you couldn't get, you know, toiletries, yeah. stuff like that. All that stuff was gone. All that is Bible prophecy. So my question to you is, what should you be doing right now? Because there's more prophecies to come. You know, destruction is coming. That's another prophecy. You understand? Hold that right quick. Give me, um, give me Jeremiah 28 and 8. Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. Because what you're talking about is nothing new, bro. Alright? Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. Uh -huh. The prophets that have been before me. So let's say the prophets that have been before me. These are the prophets, you understand? Will you read from what? The people who wrote the books, right? right? From Genesis to Revelations. They were black men. It was the prophets, right? Moses, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah. Say the prophets that have been before me, read. And before thee, uh -huh. of old. Of old, read. Prophesied both against many countries. So let's say they prophesied both against many countries. What we doing up here, we prophesying. You understand? We're doing exactly what our forefathers did. You understand why? Because we are in the last days. The Most High Savior was sending the prophets back to do what? To warn the people. You understand? Because what? Destruction is coming to this place. God's judgment is coming to this place. And before he destroy a place, he sent the prophets. You understand? This is nothing new. In the days of Noah, before the flood came, guess what? He sent the prophet Noah to do what? To warn the people. Get your mind right. Stop smoking. Stop getting tattoos. Stop fornicating. Stop come out of these other religions, these other philosophies. Why? Because the time is near. So say, read on, read on. And against great kingdoms of war. And great kingdoms of what? Of war. So the prophets of old prophesied of, of kingdoms of war. Times of war. Warfare. Do you not see what's going on around the world, my brother Tyrone? Yeah. What's going on? You got, you hear rumors of war, right? War. You hear what? You hear North Korea about to go to war. war they, yeah. Right, yeah, there's exactly. a bunch of tension going on right now. Taiwan marked its national day with flags, fanfare, and defiance. The island's president, Tsai Ing-wen, vowing Taiwan will not be forced to bow to China. Taiwan is standing on the front line of defending democracy, she said. China has long viewed Taiwan as its own national territory. China's President Xi Jinping on Saturday all but declaring a policy. The complete reunification of our country must be and will be realized, he said. China has been pushing that point and tension to historic new highs. In the past week, sending nearly 150 warplanes into Taiwan's air defense zone, forcing Taiwan's fighter jets to scramble, missile systems to deploy. At some point, there's going to be a miscalculation. Uh, and that would be dangerous for the entire region. U.S. officials say they're concerned by all the provocation here and warn China against hostile pressure. This is about China increasingly challenging American primacy in this part of the world, uh, but also threatening to displace uh, the values that define us. Officially, the U.S. doesn't take sides in the dispute over Taiwan. 
but just approved a $750 million arms sale to the island. There are reports of training, too, with American troops, including a special operations unit and U.S. Marines, said to be stationed on Taiwan for over a year. All that is according to the Bible. Right. You understand? Read on. End of evil! End of what? End of evil! End of evil, like we just were speaking on. They trying to make you get one booster shot. After you get the shot, you got to get another booster shot. Right. And you got to get another one. And, and you, you got to get another one. And you know what? God damn, how many times they going to try to prick, prick you? What it is? That's the evil thing. Hold on, let me finish this first. I got you, bro. Read on. And a pestilence. And a what? Pestilence. And a pestilence. That's diseases. You understand? This is nothing new. The prophet's been speaking this. You understand? Read. That's then. Okay, and of pestilence, that's diseases. So my question to you, with all this is going on, what should we be doing? We should be gathering together, trying to solve this problem. As a group of, let me say, I don't know if I'll go with this, not African American. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, and, so. And, 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 and we need to come together, man, wake up, man, and, 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 and realize the destruction is happening to us and run our way. Right. Cops, I'll pray this. First, first give me, give cops, me, um, Cops freedom. messing us up. Cops beating us up. Right. We got the virus. Now they may go to war with us over all right. I mean, wow. over North Korea. So, everything is prophesied in the Bible, man. It's coming, man. Right. So, guess what? Like, hey, you... but, 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 when I speak to her, everybody tell me, I'm the devil. Oh, you sound like the devil. You sound like the devil. You know why? Everybody like this white man. See this fucking white man right here? Y'all love him. But when the brothers tell y'all y'all wrong, I'm the devil. Right. Hey, brother, that's why we got to be in one accord with this Bible. Like you said, we got to gather together, right? Read that. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Uh-huh. Gather yourselves together. Do what? Gather yourselves together. So the Bible said that what? We must gather ourselves together. You understand? When you look at what's going on in the world, right? You see what? You see Elon Musk. He coming up with a plan so they could go somewhere to be safe when the destruction comes. They gather it together. But what is the black man going to do? What is the black women going to do? When the nuclear fire hit this place, what are you going to do? The Bible said that what? We must first gather ourselves together. Right? Read. Yay. Uh -huh. Gather together. Oh, nation not desired. Oh, nation not desired. That's plural. That's multitudes of people that got to come together. You understand why? Because we not desired like the scripture has said. We not desired. Nobody care. Nobody saying, oh, if World War III pop off, what are we going to do for the blacks? We not desire, that's not even a thought. They don't give a damn. You understand? So that's why we got to gather ourselves together. Give me Amos chapter 3 verse 3. Because the Bible tells us how we supposed to come together. You understand? When you had the million man march, they came together, right? Right. But what happened? Nothing happened because what? You had different groups, different ideologies, different philosophy, different thoughts came together. No, the Bible said we got to be on one mind. You understand? Hold on, let me finish this. I got you, brother. Read that. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Uh-huh. Can two walk together? So the Bible said, can two walk together? Can two people walk together? Read. Except they be agreed. Except they what? Be agreed. Except they be agreed. Except we all understand what? We the 12 tribes of Israel. We got to keep these commandments. We got to stop keeping these holidays. These Thanksgivings like the office just was speaking on. We got to come keep Passover. You understand? We got to keep the feast of dedication. We got, we got to keep the new moon, which is today. You understand? It's holidays, holy days according to the Bible that we must agree with, that we must keep. Read it again. Yeah. Can two walk together? Uh huh. Except they be agreed. Except they be agreed. Give me um, give me Ecclesiastes chapter four verse nine. Cause God wants us to come together. Why? Cause it's strength in numbers. It's strength in unity. You understand? Ecclesiastes four and nine. Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter four verse nine. Uh -huh. Two are better than one. What the Bible say? Two are better than one. The Bible said that what? Two is better than one. You understand? Why? Because you have a brother that's going to uplift you when things go bad. You understand? You got a, 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 a group of brothers that's going to help you out if you start to go off. Read. Because they have a good reward. Because they what? They have a good reward. They have a good reward. You heard iron sharpen iron? You don't hear iron sharpening itself. Nah, you need two. Right? Read. For their labor. 
For if they fall, uh -huh. one will lift up his fellow. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. You understand like we doing now. We understand up here that what? We got to keep God's commandments, right? Did you know we got to keep God's commandments? Yeah, all 12 of them. It's, it's, it's more than 12. All 12. I'm going to show you one, all right? Now, the Bible said that what? Two is better than one because one will lift up his, his brother if he falls. So that's what we're doing out here, lifting up our brothers, all right? So I'm going to show you something. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Because we got to lift each other up. Our people have fallen, first and foremost, through this. Brother Tyrone. Yeah, well, we, 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 some people, but I know one thing. It was a whole bunch of white people out here talking all that bullshit. Y'all, everybody being around. But when somebody go tell us the truth, we don't want to be around. It's all good. Head. It's all good, bro. Oh, then we don't want to right. that. Brother is absolutely but, 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 right. Hold on, but when a white man in here with some old fucking shit, old bunch of niggas everywhere. I got you, brother. But guess what? God is not looking for numbers. God is not looking for everybody to repay. He's just looking for the one third. You understand? Yes. So we first got to get ourselves right. That way we can get our people right. Because we understand that what? If it was a white people teaching, we probably had more people. But guess what? We understand our people's minds have been destroyed. You understand? We have been destroyed. We have been taught philosophy since we got to the side of the world. So we understand we're dealing with a destroyed people. That's why we got to get ourselves right. That's why you got to get yourself right. All right? Read that. Verse Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Uh -huh. But I would have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. So first and foremost, it's saying let we gotta two can two walk together unless they agree, right? right. We gotta agree that we gotta keep God's commandments, right? This is one of God's commandments. Read it again. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So this is the order when it comes to the Bible, right? The head of every man is Christ, the Black Messiah, yes. right? Read. And the head of the woman. It's the man. And the head of the woman is the man. You got a wife, you married? No, I ain't married. Okay, well, if you get married, you will be the head of your wife. You supposed to lead her in righteousness. Right. Correct her if she's going off. Support her. Teach her. Right? Because you're her head. Read on. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. Christ even has a head, which is the most high God. So you got the most high God. You got Christ the black messiah, you got the black man, Hispanic man, you got the black woman, Hispanic woman, right? That's the order according to the Bible. Read on. Every man praying or prophesying. So it say every man that's praying or prophesying. So if you're sending up prayers or you prophesying like right now you in the midst of prophecy because the Bible is coming out. It say every man that's praying or prophesying, read. Having his head covered. Having his what? Covered. Having his head covered. Read. Dishonoreth his head. So it's saying that everybody that's in the midst of prophecy, right? Whether you're praying or prophesying, if you have your literal head covered, you're doing what? Read. Dishonoreth his head. You dishonor your head when your head is covered while the scriptures is coming out. So my, my, my question to you, right? Understanding this. If you got something on your head, like the hat that you have on, right? If you have it on while the scriptures is coming out, you dishonoring your head. Right? You dishonoring Christ if you got your head covered. So what should you do? What should you do to honor your head? You should take it off, right? Yeah, take it off. Right. So are you going to take it off? All praise to the Most High. That's the sign of repentance. Give it a brother a round of applause. See, repentance is not hard, bro. We just got to learn the commandments and apply it. That was easy. Was that a hard thing? That wasn't hard at all. Oh, yeah, I do that. That wasn't hard. Right, so while the scripture's coming out, you took your hat off, you took your, your covering off, and guess what? That makes you one step closer to getting the kingdom. That's how you get yourself right in this last days. You understand? You do that by gathering amongst the brothers. We're going to show you where you're going off at. You correct it and fall in line. It's that simple. You understand? Read. Read it again. Every man praying or uh -huh. prophesying, Read. having his head covered, uh -huh. dishonoreth his head. Dishonoreth his head, but you show respect to the black messiah. All praise to the most high. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.